Okay, I'm gonna show you how to clear lens swap your taillights. You're obviously gonna need your OEM light, but you also need a clear lens. In this case, we're gonna use a set of aftermarket taillights for this system. Some cars do offer a clear lens, just the lens, on some websites. It's really hard to find. I'd say like 90% of cars don't actually have that available to them. Depending on the light, you may have to cut it open or bake it open. In this case, these taillights are plastic welded, so it's gonna have to get cut open. The tools I use are a Dremel with a diamond cutting wheel, a flathead screwdriver to work on the lens, but I also highly recommend using safety glasses. I also recommend using a face shield because the plastic that shoots off of the taillights is very hot and hurts whenever it hits you in the face. So when I'm cutting these, I'm actually just trying to cut through 90% of the edges of this lens. I don't wanna cut all the way through because I don't wanna hit any of this chrome. You can't put chrome back. This lens did crack, but it doesn't really matter because we're throwing it away anyway. Now that the lenses are off, I go ahead and clean all the slag off of the cut so that whenever it's sealed, there won't be any loose plastic inside the housing. Now you can just modify the housing however you want. So in this case, we're gonna take care of this red lens right here. I use chrome wrap. Real chrome paint is way too expensive and chrome spray paint is just silver. Unfortunately, I don't have a recommended chrome vinyl wrap brand. I haven't found one yet that looks really good and installs easily. Okay, I didn't love this chrome vinyl, let me show you. I guess from back here on camera, it really doesn't look too bad. But if you get closer, you can see it's not that reflective. We got some wrinkles right there that we gotta fix. This is the actual housing. That's a lot smoother. So I have this other stuff that I'm gonna try. We'll see if it works better. Okay, this stuff laid down a lot easier. It's still not as reflective as I want. I've got one more material that I'm gonna try on the other side and see if it is any better. Okay, this one is a lot more reflective, but it doesn't have air release and it's really hard to make those bubbles not show up. I did this three times already. So, tough choice. I kinda like that this is more reflective. Hmm. The OEM lights are ready to go. All chromed out, no red reflectors anymore. Now it's time for the clear lens. So the ones I'm using are the Spec D taillights for the Civic. These can be baked open in the oven. They are just perma-sealed after all, but you still have to cut the lip that goes into the perma-seal. Otherwise the lens doesn't sit all the way flush. I find it quicker to just go ahead and cut it and get it out of the way. Since this is the lens that we're actually gonna use, I do have my foam pad out and I am leaving this plastic on there, this plastic wrap on there so that it protects the lens from scratches. All right, lens is cut off. I immediately put it in the saran wrap so that no scratches or fingerprints gets on it, especially the inside, it's really hard to take off. So once I'm ready, I can actually transfer it to this light right here and then we'll seal it up. But I still have to clean all the slag off of this one all around the edges right here. Otherwise, all of this loose plastic is gonna be inside the tail light. It is time to remove the rest of these lenses. Okay, as you can see, I've got three of them done. I did cut the fourth one, but as I was prying to get the lens off, it broke. So now I have to wait for another one. But I'm gonna go ahead and finish the how-to video with these because it's just the same thing. Okay, for this next step, you're gonna need shoe goo or goop and tape. Let's do this one first. So carefully take the lens off, set that over, and just get rid of that. So what I do is I peel this plastic back off of the inside of the lens, being really careful not to touch it. Actually take compressed air and blow all of the dust out of the inside of the lens. And then I set it on the light. Okay, your housing has nice clean edges. There's no dust on the inside of the lens, no dust on the inside of the housing. So I actually try to make sure that one, this fits. I do a little test fit, test mock up first. Everything looks okay. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna set everything in place and use your tape. Okay, 
tape is on. So what I'm looking for whenever I do this is to match OEM fitment. So the main thing I'm focusing on here is this inside line because if this isn't exactly like OEM, then it's going to look really weird sitting next to the other tail light because these are a set. So whenever these are on the car, if these two lines are off, it's gonna mess up the whole light, this whole light, and the fitment is gonna be really bad. Now it's time to add your shugu or goop, and you're gonna put it right inside the crack in between the housing and the lens. I like to do three or four spots on this one. Three is gonna be plenty. On this big one, four is definitely gonna be recommended. Okay, you don't have to do this next thing if you don't want to, the your lights, you do you, but I like to clean this up. That doesn't look professional at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up, make it look completely flush so that it looks like it's supposed to be there. Pro tip, spray glass cleaner on your fingers whenever you go to wipe your silicone or your adhesive. It helps it not stick to your fingers. Yeah, that looks much better. Time to do the same to these. Okay, you're gonna wanna leave these sitting for at least 24 hours. I like to make sure that that adhesive is really cured before I mess with it. I don't wanna accidentally move the lens and make the alignment off. Okay, it is the next day. The adhesive is fully cured, so now we can actually put in the silicone to seal it up and make it watertight. This is the silicone I use. Just make sure that you get silicone two. Silicone one shrinks after a little bit and silicone two does not. They sell it in multiple different colors. I always use the black one. It looks the cleanest. Before adding the silicone, I like to inspect the lens and make sure that there is no dust or debris inside because we still have these cracks. So we can actually use our compressed air and clean it out before we seal it up. Okay, this is all sealed up. We do have to let this cure. I think cure time on this is just a couple of hours, so that's not too bad. But you're probably thinking that this still doesn't look too good. All of this edge right here, that looks horrible. I've had several people ask why I don't put paint on the inside, and I actually have. Putting paint on the inside actually still shows the cut. It's a lot lighter. The plastic shows up a lot lighter compared to the not cut part. So that's why I paint the outside because it actually hides absolutely everything. All of this cut, all of the silicone. You can actually see right here, all of this is filled with silicone. So it should be solid black like this very, very thin edge here, but it's showing up white. I normally do a black border. I think this time I'm gonna do a silver border. People seem to like the all silver chrome look. So I think that's what I'm gonna do this time. I'm gonna try a metallic silver and see how the border looks on this. All taped off, ready for paint. All right, that turned out great. I am really glad I went with metallic silver on this set. It complements the chrome perfectly. Of course, I still have one more to do because of the lens that I broke. That one's not here yet. I'm just waiting for the Specti lights to come in so I can cut that open, get that lens on, painted, and then I can ship this set out. The only other step that we have is to replace the halogen bulbs with red LED bulbs. I do recommend leaving the turn signal bulb as the amber halogen because the LED one is going to make it hyper flash. If you don't mind the hyper flash, you can leave it. Or if you really need the LED turn signal and don't want hyper flash, you can use load resistors. I personally don't like using load resistors. I, I don't want to tap into the OEM wire harness. So I always just leave the regular halogen orange bulb in there. But that bulb right there is gonna get replaced for sure. And I think this one will too. I can't remember which ones light up as the brake lights and which ones don't. But after that, they'll be ready to ship.